Welcome back to Just Drive It. Today we're going to give you a little bit of a story of a pioneer woman and give you just a little bit of a backstory and walk around of her ranch here. It's actually part of Dinosaur National Monument here in Utah, but please excuse me because I'm going to have to do most of this in voiceover because most of this thing was actually shot in Spanish for some friends of mine. So I did a special video for them and I came back and decided that I wanted to maybe try to do a video for y'all just to give y'all the storyline. So come along with us. So here we are looking at the cabin that she built. The lady's name was Josie Morris. From the time that she was 40 years old and divorced with all of her kids grown, she decided she wanted to take on this little homestead that she had because she'd always wanted to do it. With the fact that her kids were already grown and grandkids were coming out, she was able to start this homestead. She worked this place for 50 years by herself. She's actually 10 miles from the local town or even nearest place. So she built up this place and lived here all by herself, all by her lonesome. She did have some visitors from time to time, but it's definitely a work of love. Down here that we're looking at, this area below where those benches were and those picnic tables, that was actually where her garden was. You have different stuff like outhouse and buildings out that direction that we're looking right now. Yeah, right over there. And there's also a box canyon up there and another one out behind where we were just looking. Back down here towards this area, you can get a better look at the house. And here's the plaque where it talks about her and you can see the pictures of her. Now looking down in this direction, we're walking out towards where she had her garden. Off to the right, where those cottonwoods are, she used to have a fruit orchard out that way. And walking down this way, you can actually see the difference in the foliage and everything, because it's actually a little bit cooler in this area than it would be if you're up on the hillside over there coming out of the Box Canyon. Because it gets pretty warm out here during the summers, 100 plus heats. But you're also running into stuff where you're actually getting into really frigid temperatures because this is a land of extremes here. We're talking extreme heat followed by extreme cold. But down here in this pasture area that you see now is where she actually took and had her other crops. So pretty cool. Aquí puedes escuchar el sonido. So as we said in Spanish here a minute ago, this is actually where the spring comes up out of the ground and you see it's kind of got a little cap on it now but that's where it comes out and where it flows down and that's the lifeblood of any homestead you got to have water that flows on down to other areas but as we walk through here we start seeing some of the infrastructure that she put in and some of the stuff that she used but temperature definitely a not a lot nicer in this area here we could see She's got her chicken coop. This is where she would keep all of her chickens, ducks, if she had them, turkeys, anything like that. We're heading on down towards other areas. Supposedly in this area she had her outhouse. She had a tack building. You can see where the water runs through here headed down to help with irrigation in other areas. You can see the pond down here. Now I believe this was actually cleaned up a little bit better when she was actually here and not quite as backed up, but still a beautiful area, still a real good source of stuff. Down here is where she had her pins, and you'll see some of the stuff here in a minute. But this is where she kept some of her livestock because there were two canyons. We're still walking along the little lake here and as you can see, we've got more people coming in from the Dinosaur National Monument area tour. 
but now we're looking into what's called Hog Canyon and you can see the bluffs are pretty good on here and even though it's called Hog Canyon it is actually a box canyon whereas there's only one entryway in which is the way we're looking in from there in the back it actually boxes off so really really cool I really like how the colors and the hillside come out and then you see all the trees and you can see just the way things are going and you can see me pointing around but that's the way it goes okay we're walking into the other box canyon and you can see the cottonwoods in here there's Ian walking by you can see Claudia down the way but what really struck me is I was a fan of an author named Zane Gray and he wrote a lot of books and some of the books actually describe box canyons like this out in the middle of the desert or a semi-desert area especially in Utah where he wrote some of his books and it talked about the temperature drop that you would feel when you stepped into one of these box canyons that out of the middle of nowhere here you have trees and water and you can hear the leaves rustling now when you hear the wind blowing through the cottonwoods here you definitely can hear them and then you get up and around here and you actually see the bluffs see the sides of these box canyons how it was just abrupt drop off you had to be careful you never knew what was in front of you you definitely didn't want to take and be up top during the night without knowing where you were at but this is where she kept some of her animals and this is where she kind of kept them to keep them safe when there were critters out or when she needed to shelter them in a little bit better spot than what was out in Hog Canyon especially during the winter but really neat really nice kind of nostalgic for me but an enjoyable walk an enjoyable experience and you've got to remember she did all this by herself which hats off to her well, thank you for coming along with us as we uh, took you through this little tour. I hope you all enjoyed it. It was actually a really neat spot. And really, you don't expect it to be as cool as it is here with all the way the trees are and with the breeze and everything. Because outside, it's a lot hotter if you go even up a little bit from out of the canyon here. And... I don't know. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a pretty cool story, so I wanted to bring it to y'all. So if you like it, please like, subscribe, rumble if you're on rumble. And let me know if you enjoy seeing these uh, story videos from time to time as we drive around and do what we say. Just drive it.